a comparative study on the fatigue life of the vehicle body spot fields using different numerical techniques, inertia relief and model dynamic analysis. Owing to the expensive and time-consuming nature of durability experiments, finite element-based durability analysis is quite prevalent in the automotive industry. This research examines different numerical techniques for durability analysis of vehicle body invite in terms of formulation, accuracy, and computation time. The first step in durability analysis of the vehicle is to calculate the loadings. In this regard, the multibody dynamics model of the vehicle is driven on three different road combinations. These rows are modeled using roughness PSTs provided by ISO 8608 standard. By doing so, the suspension and body interface loads are calculated and will be used for stress analysis. The first utilized method is inertia relief that is quite suitable for finite element analysis of unconstrained structures. It uses the Delambre's principle to solve an unconstrained dynamic finite element problem. The method is computationally fast, but neglecting inertia effects makes it unsuitable for high frequency loadings on the vehicle body. The second method is model dynamic. By using model transformation, it converts a dynamic finite element problem into a set of uncoupled equations that are easily solved. This method is quite accurate, but not computationally economical. The fatigue life of the spot welds is calculated using the well-known structural stress method. This method uses the structural stress and the master SN curve to calculate the fatigue life of the spot welds. After simulations, the number and locations of failed spot welds in a 100,000 km service are found, along with computation time for each method. The results are quite different and this makes it very important to use the most accurate and suitable method. It is shown that the model dynamic method is 37 times more time consuming and 96% more accurate than the inertia relief approach.